President Zelensky says no one can predict how long this war will last as fighting rages on in the east with losses on both sides of this conflict. I want to warn you that some of the images in this report are disturbing. As the bodies of hundreds of Russian soldiers are loaded onto refrigeration trucks, casualties of the battle for Kyiv, Russia is now suffering what the U.K. says have been significant losses in the east after Ukraine blew up its attempt to cross a key river. And for the first time since the war began, the U.S. Secretary of Defense called his counterpart at the Kremlin. During the hour-long call, he urged an immediate ceasefire in Ukraine and emphasized the importance of maintaining lines of communication, according to a Defense Department readout. This as Ukrainians take a potential step toward justice. On Friday, the first Russian soldier suspected of war crimes appeared in a courtroom in Kyiv. 21-year-old Vadim Shishimarin is accused of gunning down a 62-year-old civilian in a village outside Sumy. The Russian sergeant has yet to enter a plea, one of more than 11,000 alleged war crimes now being investigated by the Ukrainian prosecutor general. Crimes including unlawful killings, torture and kidnappings. 16-year-old Vlad Buryak is believed to have been kidnapped at a Russian checkpoint while trying to escape the occupied city of Melitopol. His father says the boy dreams of one day being a veterinarian. Vlad stayed behind when the rest of our family evacuated, he says, so he could care for his dying grandfather. He says a Ukrainian soldier who was held in the same camp as his son testified on the conditions there after he was released. The soldier, he says, was beaten and raped. Are you worried that that's what's happened to your son? I don't even want to think about it, he says. I'm just focusing on how to get him out. After Vlad is free, I will fall into my emotions. Meantime, the Kremlin has extended WNBA star Brittany Griner's pre-trial detention for a month after the basketball player had been detained for carrying oil derived from cannabis. As both Sweden and Finland have signaled their interest in joining the NATO alliance, potentially shattering years of neutrality, on Friday, the Turkish president voiced his skepticism, presenting a potential stumbling block. The White House says it is looking to Turkey to clarify its position on that. Peter and Kristen. Aaron McLaughlin on the ground again for us in Kyiv. Aaron, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.